And we find ourselves at the stadium that played host to Super Bowl 52. The Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken in at the one. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Here come the Bengals now to take over. And a glance here at the man calling the plays at her center, their 6-4 quarterback. And what I enjoyed watching this week when we had a chance to watch them at practice, the easy camaraderie that he has with his offense. A lot of respect. A lot of respect, and frankly, I thought it spilled over to the defense. All the defensive guys were coming over and teasing and joking with him. You can tell they respect the heck out of him and really want to play well for him. Call it a pickup of seven, and that'll bring up second down. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Second and three. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. fake they'll look to throw almost able to intercept it that's one he would have liked to have held on to on this first drive instead second down and this whole line it is the lifeblood of the offense they established the tone mean nasty physical they can't wait to get after people that allows the rest of the offense to feel confident on second down it's Glover, and he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. Partner, your thoughts on this D-line? I love a unit that can control the run and get after the passer. This is an all-around terrific defensive front. Hard to move the ball against them on the ground, and then when you want to throw it, look out. Here they come after the quarterback. He'll drop to throw. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. In for the score. And the Bengals take it right down and score on the opening drive. They're the favorite, no question. And when they score like that on the opening drive to set the tone, you're the underdog on the other bench. That's hard, isn't it? Yeah, because you can't bring the home crowd into it because you're counting on that to be a part of your equalizer, ride their momentum. But you have to give them something to cheer for. So now what you're worried about is they're better than we are. We can't get going. Are we about to get blown out? Good news, still a long way to go. Aldrich Rosas on for the extra point. And he's got it to make it 7-0 Bengals. That time, a six-play drive. And it ends with a Bengals score. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This is taken at his four. Broken tackle. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. So here's the Viking offense making their way out. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. And what I enjoyed in preparing for this game was talking not just with the coaching staff, 
but with him as well. And I found it interesting that the coaching staff sees him one way and he sees himself an entirely different way. Yeah, one thing he said he's always working on, He's we know he's not bad at this, but his footwork always. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off at the 35. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TD. And this defense looking like they have come to play the pick six. And just like that, it's 13-0 early on. Well, go back with me to our training camp visits. What do we hear during these drills? Oh, pass. pass. Ball. Ball's in the air. And then my favorite. Oski. That's the interception. <laughs> that means everybody finds someone to block. Block them legally. Stay on your feet. And they get it done. Touchdown. Rosas now to add the PAT. And it's good to make it 14-0. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This is taken at the three. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. And now out comes Minnesota. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does. And a lot of teams no! script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game. And typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. Right back to him on first down. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Ah, uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. And a nickel look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. Looking to throw. Ramsey. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Flowers. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Back to throw. Ramsey. And yeah, that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. Well, they'll get nine there as that sets them up better for third down. Off the bootleg, Ramsey looking for his running back, and he's got it. And he loses the football a second time, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. 
<laughs> I know his coaches are screaming. Just hang on to the ball, man. Go. Stick the oar. Here we go. Here we go. Get it. Throwing on first down. Ramsey. That's going to be caught at the 10 yard line. And he takes it down to the 10 yard line. Another good completion on the drive as the Vikings have a first down. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And they'll try the jet sweep here. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. He lost two there, and it's third down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. A nickel look now for the Bengals as they try to stop them here on third down. From the gun, Ramsey. This will be caught just inside the 10. Nothing doing on that one, and it'll be fourth down. They tried to swing it out left into the flat, but the defense, they were very principled there. It felt very West Coast offense, didn't it? You know, you know their expression, right? On a West Coast offense, when they throw the ball, it's either going to be a touchdown or a check down, meaning they like to press it downfield. If they don't have it, swing it out, which is exactly what we saw there. But how about the great pursuit and tackle to make a nice play? Now the Vikings will send out the special teams crew here for a field goal try. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And his kick is good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to three. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle. Right, no big plays given up, no balls over your head. Bend. Don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Huh, you like Come that on. one? What does that mean, break out? That just because you break chestnuts? I, I'm not sure about Let's that. Go. I'm why they said that. I have no idea. Now on the return here, we've got an injured player down there. Let's hope it's not anything that'll keep him out of the opener. We'll be right back. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. A very solid gain of 27. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. Let's go now. 15 line. 15 line. Let's put him on the buses. Let's put that team on the bus. Jump. Let's go. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. After a gain of one, not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. They'll look to throw. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. 
a pretty sizable deficit here in the first quarter. This defense probably need to get off the field in those situations on third down. And you and I both know in this huddle before that last third down play, that's exactly what they talked about. Let's make a play. Let's get off the field. Let's reverse the momentum. Instead, they got hit with another first down, almost back to the drawing board. On the ready. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. He'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A good pick up there, 26 yards. It's been all passing all the time on this drive. Five for five and now first and goal. Feels like a case of until they stop us, we might as well keep running the offense that we like to run. Don't change up and do something different just because you think you need to. They'll throw. And that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. PAT up and good by Rosas. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So the drive there took six plays. And it's finished off with a Cincinnati touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point the kicker. kicker. Exactly. <laughs> you put it through the post. That's going to help him with contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that would help him with contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Super tall. <laughs> Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Check, 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 check. To throw again. Ramsey. Caught left side. Williams. A big play on the catch and run covering 34 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. for a chain mover. They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Operating from the gun. Ramsey. And he will take this across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team.
And out now, here come the Bengals. It's a quick turnaround for them after the turnover, but the way they moved it on their last drive, they're probably eager to get right back at it. And you know me and you know my tendencies in this situation. What do I want right now? Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Take your shot right here. They'll run on first down. Mullins. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Back to throw. Looking right sideline, that's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. Here we go. Here we go. 60 Pittsburgh. They go play action here on first down. That is caught at the 7. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and... And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. Now, first quarter, and this lead is already getting into dangerous territory. They better be careful on the other sideline. Yeah, it feels a little bit more like a basketball game where one team is pressing and that team can't get the ball over half court. I mean, it's stealing it and scoring it, layups, the whole deal. That's what it feels like right now. They are all over them. Rosas good with the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. So that drive, four plays. And it ends with a Bengals score. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And now out comes Minnesota. And two picks thrown here in this first half alone. We'll see how that affects him. Can't wait to see where his confidence is because the great ones, they'll throw four or five picks, and while it'll hurt their team, it won't hurt their confidence. They'll think something was just wrong with the ball or the wind <laughs> or something was funny. It's never about them. That's how they stay so into the moment and into the game. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Off play action. Ramsey throwing right, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Looking to throw on second down. Ramsey, and he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. From the gun on third down. Ramsey, he's got the first down here inside the 30. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 22-yard line. Well, this is how you shape the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when and told me, I don't care if I throw 10 interceptions in a row. I'm going to stay confident and keep flinging it. I'll just figure there's something wrong with the football. 
And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Minnesota. It's the Vikings in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. On second down now, Solomon. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Now a play fake here on first down. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Looking to throw. Gomes. This will be caught at about the six. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to bring up a fourth and goal. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11 play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they gonna recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. He's enjoying a great deal of success. His team is also enjoying a great deal of success. Yeah, he's got that nice little, what I call the QB lean going right now. You see that little stroll that Some he's got swagger. going? Yeah, he's definitely got that. You see him throwing the football, the nice little video. He's seeing that in his head as well because he wants more of that to happen. So anytime you see him that relaxed, that comfortable, Usually it's a big thumbs up for his team. Yeah, it's been a big highlight day for him. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. Give him seven on the play, and that'll make this a second down. Back to throw. More. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Fourth down. 
By the way, as we expected, most of the starting units out here in the second quarter. So get your two deep, your three deep, your four deep ready for this one. If you have a particular favorite who wasn't a high draft pick or is an undrafted free agent trying to make the team, this is the time to watch him play and give it his best shot because most of the starters, you're exactly right. They'll be out of the game watching the rest of the way. Well, look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. They've given him some touches. They haven't had a lot of success on the ground. Do you make Maybe keep going to that well, or do you mix it up more? I think you mix it up more, try and loosen things up. Get the defense to react to other people, other plays, but don't forget about it. That's your horse. You know, Secretariat lost twice in his career. <laughs> so educational. That's very true, kids. Look it up. From the gun on third down, Gomes. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. On first down, Solomon. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. To throw on second down, Gomes. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 44-yard line. From the gun, Gomes. And this offense can get their tight ends involved. They can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. On the crossing round, complete. That's ball. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. From eight yards out. And the Vikings are able to cut into that deficit. See, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. And he's had his chances in this game. He just hasn't been able to find any daylight so far. Patience, patience, patience. And that's the hard part for a runner because they expect every run to be a big one for something to pop. So they have to sometimes go through the struggle. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Check three, check three. Second and long. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw. Moore. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he takes us up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. This quarterback now, four of six since taking over, and he's got a first down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Yeah, give him four yards there, it'll be second and six. 
Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You may also just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down. Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Back to throw. Moore is going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 39. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. To throw is Wool, operating from the gun. Throw left side complete. It's Alexander. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. We've got double up, double up. Yeah. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. That's what I'm talking about. He's good. He's good. Ward now on third down. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. Yeah, they were right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Ready, ready. 70, Indy. That's caught on the left side by Kirk. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. to throw on second down. That's going to be caught by Kirk. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. That catch puts him 80 away from 1,000. He's now at 920, and 920, that ties him with Torrey Holt. That's a great name to remember, but the number, 920, almost boggles the mind, doesn't it? You're talking about 80 catches away from 1,000? What a phenomenal achievement if he gets there. I have no reason to believe he won't. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he goes backwards on this one, losing yardage to the seventh. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up. He's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. A great effort there. There to make the grab. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. They went five wide in that offensive set. And racing, going three wide's a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. PAT up and good by Rosas. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it's finished off with a Cincinnati touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. 
Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. The Vikings on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and seven. Looking to throw. Gomes. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it. And then they could make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. The Vikings send out their punter as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17 yard line. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. They don't want to repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. And yet again, he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Great job by these Vikings defense. So we are halfway through here in the final week of the preseason. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our... All right, hang on. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken at his four. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is. Right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. Blitz coming, and down he goes. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never brought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. To throw on third down. Gomes. Throwing left side here and it's complete. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. This is taken at the three. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Bengals drive about to get going. Here's Ward throwing on first down. And completes it to Kirk over the middle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. 
And to give this time to the tailback. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now Ward from the gun, he'll throw. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 45-yard line. This quarterback now 13 of 15 passing. That's good for 87%. It's nowhere to escape, and he goes down. That's the second sack of the game, and the best defensive ends, they do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Hey, a sidebar worth noting is that preseason cuts have changed. So week three that we're in right now, the preseason, I think you would just say the roster's going to stay at 90 instead of going down to 75 this year. That's exactly right, Brandon, because in the past, just what you said, this game here at the end of week three or game three, he would cut the roster down to 75 and play game four just like that. In this case now, though, they're going to be able to keep guys all the way through. So guys who would normally not have a chance to finish out the preseason, they'll get that chance now and get more opportunities to get on tape. Off the play fake. Moore, he's going to let it go deep. And that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. 25 yards for the touchdown. Now the Bengals, they widen their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Rosas good with the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and ten. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Throwing again. Gomes. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 22 yards there, a first down. Off play action, Gomes. Wide open receiver complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Looking to throw on second down. Gomes. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Four yards the pick up. First down. Operating from the gun. Gomes. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Vikings are able to cut into that deficit. And that score there makes this a much more manageable deficit. Agreed, because before that touchdown, this looked like this was about over. Instead, they've got hope. They're back in the game. They feel better about themselves, and now they have a chance to make some more plays. 
This is taken at the three. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six-foot, six-inch target. It is indeed. Quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six-six target that they've got in him. They really do. And it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. This quarterback now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and ten. Back to throw. More. And that'll wind up incomplete. Trying to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. To throw is war. Throwing again. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions. Have them looking at third and 10. Looking to throw. Moore. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive. And finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They set the double coverage on him. Made it very tough for him to get the ball. Rosa's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. The Vikings offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were competent enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A gain there of 21 yards. This quarterback now a perfect 8-for-8 eight eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. Here's a run on first down that doesn't accomplish anything. In fact, he's going to be tackled behind the line for a loss of one. To throw on second down. Gomes over the middle, and it's incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. It's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And the Bengals grab it. You know, if this is the regular season, partner, we'd be talking about just how costly a mistake that was, but probably good for him to get it out of his system right now. Just hope for him and the team it's not a sign of things to come. Yeah, without a doubt. Plus got to worry about making the team. Those types of errors don't help you. No gain on the dump off. It's second down. Looking to throw on second down. Gomes. That is caught at the seven. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the ten to the seven. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now they go screen. It's complete. 
And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Second and five. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Get your backs to the goal line. I can hear my high school coach right now. This is when force meets force. Got to be physical in order to win this battle. <laughs> yeah, that's where the physicality pays off. A nice job forcing the contact and forcing the incomplete. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. A five-yard touchdown. And the Vikings capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. No surprise there, third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, he might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They've got to right the ship. They had a great first half. But the lead has really gone down. Now, you know, you always talk about the adjustment to the adjustment. They've got to adjust right here. And I think a lot of it is just mentally. Get back to doing what you were doing well in the beginning of the game. But a lot of that is playing with that emotion and that sense of pride and fire that sometimes goes away a little bit when you build up the lead. You think you've got it going, and you also think, at any moment, I can go ahead and go back to the way it was before. You and I both know it's not that easy. Once you get off the gas a little. Yeah, they don't want to see this lead diminish anymore. Ward now, operating from the gun. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Back to throw. Moore. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not as... And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. From 21 yards away. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that, truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. PAT up and good by Rosas. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them, they feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. On second down, Solomon. And that is not going to get it done either. Once again, he stopped behind the line by this Bengals D. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll be a third and about 13. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. It's the Vikings in possession of the football, but they need some points. They're trailing here to start the fourth. Throwing on third and long. Gomes. And that will be incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. The Vikings unable to convert here on fourth. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. It's a good gain of 11. Sets them up first and goal. Hey, exit. Let's go. 
two. Warren from the gun, he'll throw. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning? Right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? He's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. And let's count them up now. One. Rosas to add the extra point. And the lead is now 24. Just a four-play drive that time. And it ends with a Bengals score. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And the Vikings now heading on to the field. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. The completion good for three and it's second down. Here's the second and seven. Gonna throw right side here, complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Face mask. Certainly looked Defense. like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Well, each other right away. We knew that flag was going on. Right here, over there, right? 52's the mic. On first and 10, Gomes. And this is incomplete. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. That fourth quarter, maybe you do start to watch. as the arm there, the legs still there. This has been a tough game. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. Looking to throw. Gomes. And that is incomplete. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short. Okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. And he will have the first down at about the 21-yard line. So no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Throwing on first down. Gomes, and incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. From the 21, it's second and 10. To throw again, Gomes. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Minnesota. A great play there. 
ready for the regular season with his second touchdown of the game. And the Vikings are able to close the gap just a bit. And Brad, I think we have to look back at the big call to go for it on fourth down. And that set up everything in the end result, the short touchdown run. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think every coach would have gone for it back there. You and I both know every coach would not have gone for it back there. So that's showing a little bit of faith, actually showing a lot of faith in his team, and it was rewarded. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. He's got a man complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Back to throw. More. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Now a throw for the left sideline, and he's got it. And he'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. Flush down right. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. As his guys are in for six. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. They had the lead in the fourth, but still passing. Finding the big target for the touchdown. Now that lead grows even more. Everybody gets to join in the fun. You know, it doesn't have to just be the wide receivers catching touchdown passes. The tight end doesn't just have to do just the dirty work inside. He gets a chance to get into the end zone as well. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And we have seen a decline in the numbers. Where does the fault lie? Just him? Maybe the guys up front combination? Well, as you and I both know, it's almost always a collective deal. But in this case, I think maybe the offensive line got a little overconfident. They had blocked so well in the first half, picked up on what the defense was doing. I think we've seen an adjustment now that they have not picked up on, and now they're being a little bit overwhelmed. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. Looking to throw. Gomes. And it's a short one here. Complete to the tight end. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They try and run on first down, but this one going to lose a couple yards as they get him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. To throw on second down, Gomes, and that's going to be incomplete. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. Back to throw. Gomes. And he finds his man, Griffin. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They get 14 there. First down, Vikings. They'll run on first down. Solomon, absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind a line of scrimmage. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have, and what they'll also do when this game is over is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak, not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the football and keep that running game bottled up. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different. 
no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. On fourth down, Gomes. Got a man, it's complete, Williams. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You start to get it done as you noted, and they did. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Second and ten from the 33-yard line. Throwing again. Gomes. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. From the gun, Gomes. And now another one thrown incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field, it's popped up in the air. I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. There goes a deep ball in zone. And this is going to be incomplete. The Vikings unable to convert here on fourth. And the Bengals will get the football back. Well, you feel the excitement build on those fourth down plays. Defense has to stay out there, but for the offense, when that thing doesn't work out, such disappointment. It can absolutely be a deflator, but how about the defensive guys? If they stop you on fourth down, they are absolutely elevated going to their bench. They're elevated now. Big stop on fourth down. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Second down and inches. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations. But a guy of his size, can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. 90, whoa. Watch the slap, watch the slap, watch the slap. Shoot. Here's Warren on first down. This will be caught at about the five. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Looking to throw. Moore to the end zone, but it's incomplete. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three, and not giving up six. And that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. From three yards out, as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Rosas now to add the PAT. And the lead is now an even 30. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. It caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. Mm -hmm. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. 11 yards there, first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Back to throw. Gomes going right side here, and that's complete. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 
They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down. It will. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. On first down, Gomes, and that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Second and 10. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And now a fumble. The ball's out, and the Bengals grab it. And he'll get this back across the midfield, striping down to the 47-yard line. All right, you've had to put up with me in this booth. I'm going to try and be simple this time and succinct. It simply has not been their night. No, I think that fumble's kind of indicative of how this whole evening's gone, isn't it? Without a doubt. I mean, they've... He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 32. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. Well, this D, particularly the secondary, has been picked apart at points here tonight. They finally, though, get to the quarterback, get a pick. And we know this about him. He loves night games, loves the spotlight, loves being the center of attention. I will bet you that he ran off the field almost chuckling to himself. They finally got one. They finally got me. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Looking to throw. Gomes caught here by Griffin. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Here's second and eight. His throw incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Operating from the gun, Gomes, and that's incomplete. He went with the dive look that time on defense, just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Get ready, get ready. The Bengals drive about to get going. And with the defense out of timeouts, powerless to stop the clock, this should just be a couple of kneel downs. And they're going to get about three here out of this first down run, and that'll bring up second and seven. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. That one looks like he'll throw here, escaping the pressure right. That one, a first down pickup of eight. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Back to throw, Moore. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Now Ward going to throw again. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. To throw is Ward. Operating from the gun. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. But Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. From Minneapolis, good night, everybody.